Football's about passion. It's a way of life. It gets you up on the morning. It's magnificent. It's fantastic. What a sport. What a sport. It's time for some more retro football. It is time for Kevin Keegan's player <laughs> player manager on the SNES. I owned this game back in the day. I've been contemplating featuring this on the channel for years. I keep putting it off because of this, because of these menus. I just always have no idea of what I'm doing or where I'm supposed to go, what I'm supposed to click on. Because you've got this mouse cursor type thing, but you have to control it with the D-pad. Um, so yeah, I retro football is about footy games. Games with action rather than management games. But if you would like to see some more management type games, footy manager games on retro football, I'm all for it. Because I used to play a lot of manager games back in the day. Um, I don't really play them anymore. So let's call my... Club Trito Machine FC, and I think we're we're gonna have to go with a Mr. Steve Bruce. Just put an S Bruce in here because it takes way too long to write anything in this game. But anyway, yeah, I owned this game. I always remember um, at the time I was hanging out with this this guy who was crazy about football and the tactical side of football as well. And we both went into town. We saw this, and we went halves. Well, that's what we say here in the UK. So go in halves on something. You both pay half each towards something. And that's what we did with this game. I think it only costs like 25 quid. Got back to my house. Or my parents' house. Because I was living with my parents at the time. I was just a kid. And we loved this. I don't know why I have played this since then. Like recent years. I don't like this game. But... The actual gameplay, which we will get to at some point in this in this video, the gameplay is all right because it uses the kickoff engine. It's just the rest of the game that's crap. So here you go. You've got real surnames of players, but it won't be uh, like there's S. Bruce at the bottom. I am the player manager. Yeah, the names you could see there, like Clough. It won't be Nigel Clough. They just throw out throw around surnames of players that. You know, from yesteryear, you've got like loads of different Schmeichels in this game, for example. But I don't know what I'm doing, guys. This is the coach, is it? And this is... Who's this? Is this another coach? Is it a scout? Well, it's not going to be a scout. Maybe this is the coach and the other guy was the scout. I, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know why they thought this was a good idea. In regards to presentation and the user interface and it's not specific to this game either it was an era thing so around this era we had loads of games loads of developers that did this they wouldn't word anything on the menu there'd be little images and sometimes it wasn't obvious at all it was totally the opposite you just don't know what you're doing here I mean some of you guys might have played this and you knew exactly what you were doing it was just one of those things I couldn't get my head round <laughs> it's just how it is so i got 350,000 miscellaneous there i mean again it's all very vague it's all so so vague got keegan sitting in his chair with his 90s tie look how 90s that tie is but yeah this game's terrible because you can go back to old management games footy management games and they're still pretty good, like uh, LMA Manager on the PS1. I quite like that game still. You know, it's okay. Look, there's an R Lasso rather than Graham Lasso, and you'll see several Lassos. That won't be the only one in the database, and that's what kind of yeah. Uh, after a while, that that became tedious for me, is because you've just got a, a, a team just chock full of just random players. And I never felt that the players you sign had any impact on the pitch at all. They all just felt the same. They had the same kind of attributes. 
It was all just a bit pointless, really. I'm struggling here, guys. Just showing you all these screens. I don't know what half of it does. <clears throat> it's not even letting me do anything with any of this. I mean, you've probably got to play a few matches to get articles written about your club in the newspaper and by the media, that kind of thing. I think this is to borrow money to get a loan. Okay, let's try this. I want five grand, please. I mean, it won't let me. It's such a frustrating game. But like I did say, we will get to some on-the-pitch action in a bit. Because on-the-pitch, it's alright, this game. <laughs> Keegan's floating head. Um... Oh, I don't know where. I mean, look at all these shields. Like, what? It's all so convoluted. They could have just kept things... If they really had to do this with the little icons or images, they could have just kept everything really, like, streamlined and, and just have a few of them. But there's so many things to click into. It's like... It just gives you a headache. You end up just going... Or hovering around all of these screens and scratching your head. <laughs> it's bizarre. It might be just a me thing. Loads of people might have played this game and be fine with it. I, I, let me know in the replies, guys. If you uh, played this game, did you enjoy this game? I have got some reviews. There's a wiki. There is actually a wiki article for this game. Um, and it's a very short article. So the reception, Power Unlimited magazine gave the game a rating of 80% in their January 1994 issue. This was released 1993. So it took them a few months to, to come up with a review for this game. It's one of the lesser known games on the SNES, I, I, I think. Uh, the programmer is Steve Screech, actually. Wasn't he the programmer for the kickoff games as well? So that's interesting. I didn't know that, actually. So yeah, it scored an 80%. Consoles Plus is the other magazine I could find a review. Uh, and that rated this game 71% in May 1994. Uh, oh, Total! Exclamation mark magazine. I used to buy that every month. They gave this a score of 4.25 out of 6. I mean, what? Out of 6? It's just weird. It does say the German video game magazine Total, but we used to get Total in the UK. Maybe that's a different magazine, I don't know. But anyway, the loading times on this are long. Or lengthy, I should say. And I'm going to leave this in. I won't edit it for authenticity. So, yeah, this is how it was, guys. Even though it's cartridge, and usually with cartridge-based games, they load straight away, don't they? But this has got loads of databases and going on in the background, I assume... What it has. We've got Fulham first game. And it's just player names. It, it, none of it means anything. Just don't even bother with it. Just don't even bother with it. Stevie Bruce is playing in midfield. He's the number eight. There's CMFC with their yellow kit that I made. And this is where the game's alright. I liked this back in the day. But let's see how I... Yeah, let's see what I think of it now. Yeah, it still feels decent. It still runs at a really nice pace because kickoff was brilliant. It was brilliant on the snares as well. Like, oh, it's 1-0 already to Fulham. I think it was brilliant on the snares. Super kickoff or kickoff. I think it was one of the better versions. But again, I need to go back and play that now and see if it's similar to this. But I like this. This is all right. When you get used to it, though, because keeping control of the ball or keeping possession of the ball in this... Is a task. Okay. I like that little selection or options box that appears up there, top left, when you've got control of the ball with your goalkeeper and you've got different options. You could throw it out or you can choose how far you want to kick it and which direction and that kind of thing. All that's really cool. You can actually just watch the games. You don't have to play them. You can just sim simulate them, but simulate them live. A little bit like you do in modern day FIFA where you pause it. You could pause it and go into simulation and watch the match unfold. Oh. Oh, it's exactly like you could do in, in modern day football manager, actually. You you 
oh, it's 2-0, you watch the match, don't you? And you kind of make changes and tactical changes as the game progresses. But yeah, it's a quick look at Kevin Keegan's. There's not a lot more to say about this game. This is it, basically. It's not a good management game at all. Is it a penal? It's a penal! Let's see if I can save this before I go. I'm going to go bottom left. I say bottom left. Ah, oh, he misses anyway. And my keeper didn't move, even though I did go left. Yeah, Kevin Keegan's player manager on the snares. Let me know, please, again, um, if you have memories with this gem. <laughs> it's not a gem. It's exclusive to the snares, by the way. We didn't see this on PC or Genesis, Mega Drive or Game Boy or Game Gear or the Turbo Graphics. I'm, I'm just reeling off consoles now. It was just on the snares. And it's 3 nil to Fulham. I think it's safe to say I need some practice on this. But anyway, I've said I'm going a million times now. I'm definitely going. Look out for more content coming to the channel. Speak to you all soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs>